hi guys, welcome back to Widow's Astro Forum. My name is Widow Oerlemans and in this video I'm going to compare this little Skywatcher Star Adventure 2 i Pro I just bought to the brand new Skywatcher Adventure GTI that will be released this summer. So let's go! So to be completely honest, I planned a video about the benefits of using a star tracker to get into astrophotography. And I bought this star tracker, the popular Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i Pro, which is considered to be one of the best star trackers out there. But then this happened on all the astro influencer channels last week. So what an enormous amount of publicity. Well done Skywatcher. <laughs> I will get into trouble for this, but all kidding aside, some excellent reviews popped up about the Skywatcher GTI Star Tracker last week, which will be officially released this summer in Europe. So in this video, I'll attempt to add to the discussion by doing the following. First, I will take a step back and explain the potential benefits of getting a star tracker to engage in astrophotography. Uh, if you already know all about that, you can skip ahead to the second part of this video where I will compare this Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i Pro with the specifications of the brand new Star Adventurer GTI. So why should you consider a star tracker for astrophotography? Well, if you're planning to get into astrophotography, you should consider a star tracker for at least four different reasons being, first of all, the ability to track the night sky, second of all, the relative affordability of uh, star trackers such as this one, uh, third of all, the portability of star trackers, and fourth of all, the relative ease of use of star trackers. So let's talk about each of those reasons in more detail. So one of the main reasons for people to actually buy a star tracker is of course the ability to track objects in the night sky. You're probably aware that the Earth rotates around its own axis every 24 hours and because of that the objects in space like the sun, the moon and the stars are moving across the night sky during your imaging session. Well, a star tracker is able to track the paths of the objects in the night sky so you can take long exposure photos. And the ability to take long exposure photos is really super important as you're able to catch more light which improves the quality of your astrophotography pictures exponentially. Trust me on this one. So let's move on to affordability. Over the years I have received so many questions from you guys about what kind of gear you would need to start astrophotography. And the standard response you got from me is how much money are you willing to spend? And the answer I very often got was about $500 or euros. And I guess that's understandable, right? You don't want to break the bank when taking your first steps in astrophotography. And that's where these little star trackers come in. Star trackers are pretty affordable gadgets in the $500 range. So you can use them with a DSLR or mirrorless camera you probably already own to track and photograph objects in the night sky. And for star trackers, I would actually recommend you keep your focal length to a maximum of about 300 millimeters for your lens or a small telescope, because beyond that point, you would need a more expensive setup to accurately track and photograph objects in the night sky. So another benefit of star trackers is that they are ideal to take with you on weekend or holiday trips to wonderful locations. So star trackers are, as you can see, lightweight and compact. Most of them weigh about 5 kilos or 11 pounds and they are small enough to put in your backpack or sports bag without any issue. So another advantage of using a star tracker is that they are, or at least they should be, really easy to set up and use. You just put them on a tripod like this, uh, you do need to polar align your star tracker under the stars, but after that you switch on the device and you're actually good to go. And even for more experienced astrophotographers like myself, it is a welcome change to use a star tracker and get up and running in less than five minutes as compared to having uh, to set up a heavier and more complicated astrophotography gear that takes at least half an hour or more of your time before you can actually start your imaging session. The option to track the affordability, the portability and the ease of use are all reasons why star trackers are so loved by astrophotographers. So 
let's move on to the second part of this video and discuss two of the most popular star trackers at the moment uh, from Skywatcher. So this is the Star Adventure 2i Pro, as you can see here. Um, and I'm going to compare this star tracker, which has been the standard for a couple of years now, to the brand new Star Adventure GTI that is released in the US right now, and it will be released in Europe uh, during the summer of 2022. Now, I will not get into every little detail, but I will compare the two trackers along the lines of tracking accuracy, affordability, portability and ease of use I've just mentioned. So let's go. So one of the most important aspects of a star tracker is of course that it should be able to track the stars in the night sky, hence the name, right? And that's where the GTI will probably outperform the 2i Pro you can see here. And the simple reason for that is that the 2i Pro only tracks the night sky along one axis, whereas the GTI tracks the night sky using two axes, like the right ascension and the declination axis. And this means in practice that with the GTI, the newer model, you can use an additional guide scope, a guide camera, uh, to also guide your Star Adventure GTI along two axes using, for instance, popular software like PHD. And this will probably result in a periodic error of about one to two hours seconds per pixel but hold on a minute guide scope a camera phd2 auto guiding periodic error that sounds way too technical for anyone who is just starting astrophotography right so Lots of folks, including myself, I actually want to use a star tracker because I don't want to, to go through all the hassles of setting up and using a star tracker like a full-fledged equatorial go-to mount. So the Star Adventure GTI probably tracks more accurately than the 2i Pro when used in combination with auto guiding, but doesn't that take the fun out of just setting up your star tracker to polar align it and start tracking the night sky? And that also brings me to another point. So both the GTI and the 2i Pro only support a payload capacity of 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. Now what this means in practice I think is that you're going to put a camera uh, and a lens or a small telescope with a focal length up to 300 millimeters on a any kind of star tracker and if that is what you're going to use I think a good polar alignment should be enough to get round stars when taking one to two minute pictures of the night sky right so don't get me wrong it is great that the GTI tracks along two axes with a full-fledged auto guiding option and I know for sure that many dedicated astrophotographers will love it but there are also plenty of people including myself um, who like the simplicity of just uh, switching on the star tracker. So I can just switch on this star tracker literally in one turn and it will start tracking the night sky um, without too much hassle. So let's move on to affordability. Both star trackers are reasonably affordable. Uh, the Star Adventure 2i Pro you can see here is currently priced uh, at 429 euros in Europe and $520 in the US at this point in time. Uh, and that's without an additional tripod. Now the Star Adventure GTI will be about $640 without a tripod or $740 with a tripod. So that's a little bit above that magical price point I talked about of $500. Lots of folks are aiming for when just starting uh, their astrophotography hobby. So let's talk about portability. Now both the Star Adventure 2i Pro and the GTI are pretty portable. The 2i Pro right here is a little bit lighter at about two kilos or four and a half pounds versus the GTI that weighs about three kilos or six and a half pounds. Now both Star Trackers do come with an optional counterweight that you can add to the setup here. And that weighs an additional five pounds or two, two kilos for both models. Uh, it also includes a V-style mounting saddle to mount a small telescope or camera with a zoom lens. And I would say both Star Trekkers, they are pretty portable and they both fit comfortably in a backpack or a sports bag. So that's great if you're going on a holiday or a weekend trip and you want to take that Star Trekker with you. 
So what about the ease of use? Well, the first main difference between the two trackers is that the 2i Pro has this manual dial you can use to start tracking the night sky at different tracking rates for, oh, for instance, for the sun, uh, as you can see here, uh, the moon, um, some deep sky objects and the stars. And there are also a ton of other nice time-lapse tracking features that are on this dial on the 2i Pro. Now the GTI, of course it has the exact same tracking options, but the manual dial uh, is missing on that uh, newer tracker. So the GTI is designed to be controlled using your smartphone, uh, using a Wi-Fi connection. So you first need to connect your smartphone to the mount using Wi-Fi and download the Skywatcher console app to control your Star Adventure GTI and start tracking the night sky. So a second option with the GTI is to control that Star Tracker remotely by connecting the GTI to the available uh, USB port so you can connect that Star Tracker via USB to your PC or laptop. And in that way you can control your Star Adventure GTI GTI to a lot of popular astrophotography imaging software like Nina or Sequence Generator Pro. Now that Star Tracker GTI it also supports a hand controller port. So if you want to control the GTI using an old-fashioned SynScan hand controller, you can also do it the old school way. Um, now a USB port and a hand controller port are, as you can see, they are missing on the 2i Pro. But you can connect the 2i Pro also remotely with your smartphone over Wi-Fi using that same Skywatcher console app as I mentioned with the GTI. And in my opinion, this manual dial on the 2i Pro is really the quickest and easiest way to start tracking the night sky. And I actually wonder why they abandoned this manual dial uh, when designing the GTI. In addition to the stuff I already mentioned, both Star Trackers have a V-style dovetail with a five pound counterweight to mount a camera or a small telescope. And the 2i Pro has this additional connection you can see right here, uh, this additional option to mount a typical ball head to connect your camera. And I'm not sure the GTI also includes this particular connection. Also be aware that the connection is 3 8 of an inch whereas your camera probably supports a 1 4 of an inch connection. Now you can buy an additional ball head to solve that issue and mount your camera on the Star Adventure as you can see right here. Now the 2i Pro works with 4 AA batteries whereas the GTI needs 8 8 8. 8 AA batteries. Now, anyhow, both mounts can be used with those batteries and you don't need any external power supply uh, and the batteries will last for several imaging sessions. Now, this is really nice, of course, when you don't have uh, external power available at your location. And another minor difference is the illuminated poloscope. So the 2i Pro has a somewhat flimsy external light that needs to be placed on the mount to, illu to illuminate your poloscope. Whereas the GTI has a much better built-in illuminated poloscope that can be controlled via the app. So let's move on to my main conclusion. Did I just waste 429 euros on this Star Adventure 2i Pro? And should I have waited for the newer GTI that will be released this summer in Europe? Well, I'm not completely sure. Uh, the 2i Pro seems to have a couple of advantages over the GTI. It is still about $120 cheaper. It is also about one kilo or two pounds uh, lighter. It includes a manual dial so you can start tracking the night sky immediately without the need uh, to use your smartphone with the Skywatcher console app. Uh, but you still have this option if you want to use it. Now, if you are a person who wants a very capable and easy to use lightweight star tracker to take nice astrophotography pictures without too much hassle, I think the 2i Pro may still be the perfect star tracker for you. Now, on the other hand, if you like to have the full-fledged functionality to completely automate your star tracker, the GTI is probably more suited for you and worth the extra $120. The GTI tracks in both 
right ascension and declination and it can be connected to popular astrophotography software so you can play it solve you can auto guide you can basically fully automate your imaging session with third-party software it also appears to be a bit sturdier as compared to the 2i pro and the built-in illuminated photoscope is much better than the flimsy add-on you get with the 2i pro anyhow I think we owe Skywatcher a big thank you for releasing these excellent Star Trekkers on the market which really offers beginning and experienced astrophotographers a fun way to engage in astrophotography. Now let me know in the comment section which star adventure you prefer and why so we can get into a conversation. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and I wish you clear skies. Bye bye.